guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope, this is Mission Keto, and today's video is a what we eat in a day. I'm gonna take you along throughout the day and show you what Andy and I are eating. Um, Andy is doing carnivore right now, and I'm just counting total carbs, taking it back to basics and losing the weight by counting total carbs. Um, I'm excited about today's foods. Hopefully we'll get to kind of the things that I'm wanting, but um, I'm going to be prepping that chuck roast um, the way Carnivore Quest showed us how to do in their video. Um, so I'm going to make that for Andy. And that's kind of a long process. So it's kind of got to, you got to sear it up and then you got to stick it in the oven for a little while. So that'll probably be his afternoon. He's only been eating about two meals a day. And, um, and I don't know what he's going to do for like his first meal of the day. So we'll stay tuned for that. And then I, me personally, which now that I'm thinking about it, I need to take it out of the freezer. I think I'm going to make these salmon bites. My daughter sent me like a reel on these little salmon bites that you put in the air fryer. And that sounds really good. So that's probably going to be my dinner. <clears throat> maybe with, maybe I'll throw it on a bed of lettuce and have a salad or something like that. But I'm really excited about trying those. Um, and then lunch, I don't know. I've been really loving like having a wrap with like deli meat and stuff. So I'll just, we'll just decide when lunchtime comes up. And then one thing I did want to show you is kind of like the swag bag that I got at the Keto Orlando Summit. I'll show you everything that we got in there. And then the purchase that I made of that granola, I wanted to show you that. My vlog for that is probably going to come out this weekend. That's just, it's very, it's, it's so hard for me because I'm filming all these other videos right now too. And I only use my phone and I don't have a lot of storage. I should probably just bite the bullet and bite, you know, buy some more storage, but I'm just very, I'm very frugal with certain things. You know what I mean? Like I can throw down some money for some planner stuff and cooking stuff, but more storage there's like nothing to hold on to <laughs> you know what I mean so uh, I just need to do it so I've just got to kind of make sure I'm cleaning out my phone and stuff so I can do that but I'm probably gonna have that up for you this week it's not gonna be miraculous I've never done anything like this so I don't know I hope you like it I filmed some things filmed some things that I ate um took a lot of pictures so I'll probably just talk you through I don't know even why I'm telling you all this because I want it to be a surprise. So you just gotta stay tuned. So um, first I'm gonna show you how we make our coffee for the, the day. I have shown you previously, I've got our waters ready and I've shown you previously, I will link that for you to show you how we make our water. Andy's is a little different. He's not doing, you know, the sweetened electrolytes. He's using the clear drops from Keto Chow and I'm just doing whatever, but I will definitely link that so you can see that. But I thought this time around, I would show you what we make, how we do the coffee. Um, it's not super fancy, but some people have been asking at least for mine. And I thought I'd show you his as well, just so you can kind of see what he's doing, but everything's going well. Let's see what we get into today. All right. Good morning, everyone. So I thought I would go ahead and show you how I am making our coffee in the morning. Um, Andy's since he is on carnivore right now and mine because I've had a couple requests. So we have a Keurig machine that we do for like a single cup of coffee. And this is like a reusable filter, which I think is so cute and adorable, but I'm getting this ready. Um, he does use decaf. I got a lot going on here, so just have patience. He does decaf coffee. Um, I just fill it up and this little cap goes on top. I just got this at like Publix. It was like, you know how there's like in the coffee aisle, then they've got little things hanging off of the aisles. That's where I got it. It was just something they were trying to promote. I always put our coffees in here first because then I'm gonna pour them in this bowl and mix them up with my immersion blender to mix up the things that I'm adding to it. So that takes a little while to get going. So while that's doing that, we're gonna get this ready. <clears throat> Not a lot that I put in it, but I have just found that mixing it up with that little handheld blender is so much better. So we're gonna put a scoop of the collagen. This is the one that I'm using right now. I love this one and this one I get at Costco. And then the other one is Orgain. 
and it's actually got the exact same ingredients, everything is this one. So a lot of times on Ibotta, the Ibotta app, it will have $5 off. So it's a pretty good deal. So if I can't get to Costco, I definitely go with that one. Now we are also starting to add MCT oil in his coffee. Mine too, but this is more for, I'm looking for a tablespoon, for him to, this is a half, so we'll do two of these. Get extra fat in, and this is crazy. One tablespoon is a serving, and that is 14 fat grams. So if you're looking for a way to get more fat in, I would definitely go this route. And I'm just gonna keep all this stuff out because I gotta do this for my iced coffee. Also, um, we're waiting on the coffee. I'm gonna get the heavy whipping cream and we'll just mix all of that in here together and then pour it in this cup. All right, so I'm back. I got the heavy whipping cream and we are measuring two tablespoons in his coffee. I found my one tablespoon measure in the So there's one. You know, this is his one treat that he has for the day. So while I'm trying to be accurate with the measurements, I also want him to enjoy it a little bit. Um, so this one has one carb per tablespoon. So that's two. And then this has zero carbs. These, this is the Splenda. I was gonna do the vanilla one in it, but I just looked and there is like a carb in it. So he won't know, or maybe he will. Apparently he does watch my videos after the whole liver thing. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last grocery haul, I will link it. This is um, one squeeze. Now, I could go long and hard with the squeeze, so I don't know what, okay. I probably went a little more than I should, but it's his one treat for the day. Now that coffee is done. This is just a single serve, and I really love this Keurig, because once you're done with it, you just close it back up, and it looks like nothing ever happened. You do have to fill the water up every single day, though. So I'm just pouring this in here, and then I'm gonna put that on mine. Goodness, there's a lot going on here. Sorry, guys. Oh, there's a little left hanging in here, so I'm gonna make sure I get it all for him. Um, next, I don't have enough. I have such pretty things uh, plugged in over here with coffee makers. I have to unplug stuff all the time. And I'm going to blend it all up and then I'll pour it in a cup. All right, so I'm done. Pretend you didn't see me make a mess. I always pick this bowl because it never has spillage and I had spillage. So Andy's coffee mug of the day, you guys know we love Star Wars, is this R2-D2 one. This is actually Jordan's cup, but then I just pour it in here and he is good to go. Wow, that was perfect. And he doesn't like his super hot. He has to let it rest a minute. So this is perfect. So I'm going to go put this down for him. And next we're going to make mine um, pretty much the same thing, except I use, <laughs> I make an iced coffee. Maybe during the um, winter when it gets cooler, I might um, do hot coffee, but I love iced coffee. And this is my Nespresso right here. I always gotta make sure there's water in it. I don't need to tell you how to make that, but um, I'm gonna make mine real quick. Same thing. I'm just gonna put it in a cup with ice. So I will speed mine up, but if you do have any questions or I missed something, comment down below, let me know. I love interacting with you guys. All right, so I literally make it the same way. I put a scoop of collagen, a tablespoon of the MCT oil, and I put my sweetener and I do half and half and just mix it together, put it in my ice cup. All right, so there you have it. I've got my iced coffee ready to go and my Starbucks mug and I love it so much. I love cups if you guys didn't know. And this is my favorite color, green. Green of any color is my favorite, but dark green is my preference. But. I'm about to get to work, so we're ready for the day. We're not gonna have anything until we get hungry, honestly. Um, Andy has not eaten since yesterday afternoon. He didn't even have dinner last night, he wasn't hungry. 
So yeah, so this, you know, I know they say heavy cream can break your fast, so it's completely fine because he's not really focusing on fasting, but I know the longer that he goes without eating, the better. So yeah, let's get to work and I will touch base with you later. All right, so I'm on a quick break at work and I thought I would go ahead and prep this chuck roast. I'm going to link the recipe for how I'm making this down below. Carnivore Quest um, is the channel and Cassie is the brilliant mind behind this. So definitely go check this out. Andy cannot wait. All right, so it is about 11 o'clock, 10.59 to be exact, and Andy is having his first meal of the day since about, what was it, 2.30 yesterday, you said? Mm -hmm. 2.30, and he did have a little bit of heavy whipping cream this morning, yes, but he hasn't physically eaten something since yesterday afternoon. Um, and as you just saw, I have started the process on the chuck roast, so that's gonna take a few hours. So by the time that's done, he's probably gonna be ready for his second meal. So he's just having some burgers in the air fryer. These are the burgers I got from Aldi. They're 85, 15. And we had a couple of pieces of bacon left and he likes putting the bacon on at the end to kind of crisp up in the air fryer just a little bit more. So this is his lunch right now. Man, I'm slacking because there's like nothing in the fridge for him. <laughs> Otherwise, is there? There's no more bacon. Slack. There's no bacon bites, bacon burger bites, bacon chicken bites, bacon shrimp bites. Somebody told us about bacon steak bites. Yes. And that sounded delicious. So I definitely will have to try that for him too. Maybe with the cube steak because it's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is his lunch. All right, so I'm using some of the leftover chaffles that I have in there. I made those in my meal prep out of the canned chicken. And I'm making kind of a deli sandwich out of it. All right, guys, so here is my lunch for the day. As you saw, I made my chaffle sandwich. I hope this is good. It looks like it's going to be good, um, but I don't know how I'll feel about chicken with deli meat and stuff. But anyways, so I also have a Too Good yogurt here, and this is the vanilla flavor, and I have some of the granola that I was telling you guys about. Um, here, I'll just show you now. I'll show you everything else later, but this is EKL Baked Low Carb Snack Granola. She loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which so did I. That's why I grabbed this. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my all-time favorite cereal that I'll probably never have again, um, and that's okay, but it's got, you know, all of these details here, and look at the, hold on, three total carbs guys you guys know that i count total carbs and the ingredients are very clean the marker is eggs she does not put egg in it anymore but that is literally it if you can have nuts and seeds then you are good to go what i really like about this is she's local to me so i can pick it up anytime i was very excited to meet her very excited. I will link her um, Instagram down below if you'd like. She did say that she can ship these too. Not sure what shipping cost is or anything. There's This is literally me just saying I really like this and I was excited and she's local. So yeah, she had other flavors too that were delicious. I can't remember them right now. That's just too much for my brain to handle. But anyway, so I put a little bit of the granola in there and the yogurt and I've got that. I've got my water with my electrolytes. This is I'm out of my Redmond's. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite. I need to order. But I'm using my Perfect Keto Pink Lemonade one for now. I've got plenty of that. Um, side note, make sure you're checking for all you newbies. Make sure you're checking the description box. I do have discount codes to save you money on these things. And I'm only going to use things that or offer things that I use personally. And Perfect Keto is down there also. Um, I've got Redmond's Relit, I've got Keto Chow, I've got Carnivore Crisp. So yeah, just check that out when you can. But this is lunch. I don't know, this is a lot of food for me. You guys know normally I just have one thing and I'm good, but I'm bulking it up today. Let's see if I can eat it all. If I can't eat it all, I'll probably put this in the fridge and finish it later for, as my snack. But yeah, that's what's for lunch. Ugh. So I tried that sandwich and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. That might be good to some of you guys. Hopefully it's a good idea, but I have a problem with, you guys know, meat and consistency and the texture and all of that. So uh, what's so weird to me though is the, I love the chaffle 
and I love the inner part of the sandwich, but together they're tasting funny to me. So what I'm gonna do is take them apart. I'm probably still gonna eat them, but separately. And I'm just going to kind of roll up the meat and the cheese together with the um, tomato and the onion and just do that. But yeah, can't get past it. So I think I'll probably definitely finish my yogurt too. Okay, so here is everything that I got in my swag bag. Um, we will start over here. This is a little separate. Bear with me because Ralphie is thinking that I'm on the ground here just to play with him. <laughs> and that's not the case. Um, I was, I did purchase a VIP ticket, which was super exciting and cool to have this extra special lanyard, you know, that says VIP. That was so cool. And you get this little thing that says Keto Orlando Summit. Everyone still gets one of these. They just have this with their name. My name is on the other side of that. And we had a raffle ticket too, which I didn't win because the ticket's still in there. But the only other thing that happened with VIP was you get front row seating, which again was super cool. However, it was in such an area like I would have had a good seat no matter what. You know what I mean? Like I think everybody had a great seat at least from my point of view. And then we had the access to the VIP dinner. I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but we went to a Brazilian steakhouse type of thing. And I, you know, I'm not into meat and stuff right now. So there were so many people there. I didn't get to rub elbows with anyone because they had already had their seats when I got there. So, but I did get to know some more people a little bit better, which was cool. So for me personally, VIP, it wasn't necessary. It was cool, but it wasn't necessary. But these are the things that I got. Um, when I registered, I got this bag and it had these things in it. This was pretty cool, I thought. You have this little like frother machine portable. I was like, you know, we could totally, stop. Rafi, come here. We could totally take this, you know, if you ever go, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. Um, if you know, you know. If you know, you're going traveling or something. I've got a little portable one now. It also came with these running socks, which I thought was cool because I do, you know, work out and everything. This was also in there. It was like a little nail kit. So, you know, I was all about that. It has a little nail buffer, nail file, and oil and things like that. And then the contact, um, the keto nail tech, which cool. I had um, a relight separate um, single serving pack. I tell you what, these animals, single serving pack of electrolytes, which I love these. These are great to take with you somewhere um, when you're traveling. And then a pen and the cute little Redmond's Real Salt. I love these things so much. You can refill them. These are definitely something you want to keep. So that was in my VIP bag. So not everyone got that. So that was kind of cool. And then here is the bag that everybody kind of gets. Well, kind of gets. They do get. Um... I do have a shirt also. <laughs> I just can't. He's so cute. I can't even tell him no. Um, but I do have a shirt also. Um, but it's being washed right now. And I will probably wear that when I do my vlog just to kind of show you that. But they do give you, they have these little bracelets made, which were um, Keto Orlando Summit, which was really cool. And then these are just all the goodies in it. There was a Ketones Bar, Chalk Zero, which we all know and love. Monk Pack granola bars are delicious. I'm new to this. I've heard of the brand. The Nush um, Zero Sugar Two Net Carbs Pancake and Waffle Mix. I was excited about this because the total carbs, and it's just for one pancake, which I'm fine with, is five. So I could literally make two pancakes for myself with some eggs and bacon once I'm into the eggs and bacon thing again. And have a breakfast that's not too bad and I can have the the waffles and the or the pancakes I'm excited about that they had a couple of the cheese bites you know those are easy um Ella's flats here's a little like snack pack of these kind of crackers they're made with like seeds and everything I haven't tried these before but I've heard they're very good so I'm excited to try them um there's one serving so there's three in this package and there's five total carbs so I was thinking that I would make, here's the ingredient list. Um, I was thinking about making um, my BLT dip and using this for it for one of the times. So also got a package of keto chow, which we all love, right? And then some more electrolytes. And since I'm kind of running low 
on my electrolytes. I've not tried this brand yet, Ultima. Zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories, so I like that. Have you guys tried this? Let me know down below. I haven't been able to look at the ingredient list because I haven't opened it yet, but excited about that. And then in this bag, I also had the real salt in it. So that's everything that I got in my swag bags. And Ralphie is having a blast. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> All right, so here is the chuck roast. It looks a little brown on the outside, but it's really, it's really not. Andy already had a taste and it is fork tender, which is how it's supposed to be. And then you have the um, sauce here is, she called it a au jus, au jus sauce, so you can save that. Um, I'm not very familiar with all that kind of stuff, but look how this is just pulling apart. So I don't think the, the darkness of that meat is that, you know, big of a deal. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think I'm gonna have a taste of this because I'm okay occasionally with like very tender meats like this, and that just looks really delicious. So this is gonna be Andy's second meal of the day. It's not time yet, but I did just take it out of the oven, and um, there's no point in me showing you again what he's gonna have on his plate, but this will be what he has then. So next will be what I have for dinner. All right, guys, we are back and I am going to make myself dinner. As you saw, I made that chuck roast earlier for Andy and tell him how good it was, Andy. It was amazing. <laughs> I didn't get it on video of him eating it, but he is extremely happy. And I'm like, that's such a good fatty red meat for him to eat too. And I will say I tried it and tried it again and tried it again. It was delicious. So I mean, if I'm going to eat meat, that's what I'm going to make. And that's a relatively inexpensive piece of meat too. So even if he ate that whole thing, which he didn't, probably about half of it because I dug into it a little bit too. He's got half of it left and it was a $5 piece of meat, you know? So anyway, so that was Andy's dinner. Tonight I'm making myself, I'm really excited about this. This is... um salmon bites, I'm going to put them in the air fryer, and then I think I'm just going to throw them over some salad or something, but I kind of got the inspiration from something that my daughter had sent me, like a reel, and then as I was looking at the recipe, she seared it in like the, um, in a skillet on the pan. I'm going to use my air fryer. She took off the skins. I'm going to cook the skins because that doesn't bother me. I like eating it. I know that grosses some people out. I'm sorry, but I like it. Um, so first thing we're going to do is get this marinade going. So we need some, this is just for me. That's why there's just such a little bit. So it should definitely be plenty. I'm not starving, but I did use, oh, I guess it would help if I told you what I use. So you can use soy sauce if that's all you have. Um, this is supposed to be a little bit better. Um, coconut aminos. And so that's what I use. And I finished it off because that was a quarter cup of that. You need a teaspoon of garlic powder, and it says a teaspoon, uh, oh, oh, it's just a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Well, I like garlic powder. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt. It said a half a teaspoon, but I don't think I need that much. And then it says to kind of just lightly toss and let it sit. I need to get that garlic powder going. So we're just gonna let this sit for a few. And then there's a sriracha, like spicy mayo that I'm gonna make also. And I'm thinking maybe I could just use that as my dressing too. So this looks like it's really gonna be soaking up those juices, doesn't it? Mm. If you love salmon, make sure you do a thumbs up on the video. All right, so we're gonna make the spicy mayo next. Okay, so I'm making the spicy mayo, which was delicious. And then I put the salmon inside the air fryer. I flip it halfway through. All right, so look, my salmon bites are out of the air fryer and they're super hot, but don't they look delicious? And as I was taking them out, they, uh, if you don't like the skin, if you don't peel it off ahead of time, look how easy this just kind of, it, it peels off very easily. So that's something that you can easily take care of if you don't like that. Um, just as a note, it was 325 degrees for 10 minutes and at five minutes I flipped them over. So, cause you know, salmon cooks pretty fast and this is looking pretty good. The, um, 
coconut aminos really soaked in there. I've already got a lot of flavor and having double the garlic power powder did not matter at all either. So here's my little salad that I made. I've just got some lettuce that I chopped up, some tomato, a little bit of onion, a yellow baby pepper, mini pepper, some mushrooms. I'm just trying to get rid of some stuff in the fridge, you know, that I don't want to go bad. And we are just going to plop this on here. And I must say, I'm doing good. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? What do you think, Andy? Even Andy was like, that salmon looks good, but he can't really do all of that right now. But he does like salmon. And this is a very fatty seafood also, which is part of one of the takeaways I got from this weekend. So just so you know. So I made the spicy mayo and it had some sesame oil, sriracha, and some mayo in it. And I'm just going to drizzle some of this on top. And I have got a very delicious dinner and it's giving me protein and veggies depending on if you like that. Jordy just got home. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment about down below. Let me know if you love salmon. If you want to try this, let me know. Thanks for watching.